Sim Airport is a fun game that is still lacking any in-game tutorials. And when I started playing, the other tutorial videos were 30 minutes long and let's plays. This video is an actual tutorial that will give you a basic understanding of the game and let you set up a simple airport to get you on your feet. Check out my Sims Airport playlist for more information on any of the topics that are mentioned within this video. And feel free to leave a comment below if you have any further questions once you've finished watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. The first thing to note, you'll not be opening your airport for one to three days. Don't panic, this is fine. You'll have enough money to cover your airport expenses while you set up your airport. So don't stress about rushing to get it done or hiring extra construction staff to help out with the building. You start with three construction workers and this should be fine. The game developers are still adding and updating things within the game, so all information within this video is tentative. However, in saying that, should still get you well on your way to understanding it. You'll need a baggage system within your airport to move luggage, just like a real airport. To access the baggage system, select Utilities. This dims out the rest of the screen and reveals the hidden conveyor belt lines and the baggage hubs if there's any placed. You'll need to place a baggage depot on the side of the tarmac and assign it to a gate to get luggage on and off the planes. You'll need a hub to exchange conveyor paths and you'll also need a baggage carousel. The carousel needs to be placed in the baggage claim area to work. Connect all of the pink lines, connect pink to pink and blue to blue as neatly and direct as possible. Cues help organize and space out your passengers. They can be placed on ticketing desks, ID check stands, gate agent stands and cash registers. Each queue will need to be assigned to a particular desk in order to operate. Desks can be assigned to multiple queues and vice versa. When you're starting out and have a small gate for small planes, to start this, you'll be fine with two of each type of desks. This means at least two ticketing desks, ID check stands, baggage scanners, metal detectors, and gate agent stands. There's no training, staff happiness, or skills to be mindful of. Just set and forget. Staff will assign themselves accordingly. As you expand, you'll need to add more staff. The bigger gate you add, the more staff you'll need to handle the influx of travelers. Place some chairs down for your passengers to sit on. They're a simple way of generating comfort and pop down some different vending machines and a newspaper stand or two to generate a little bit of extra money. Runways can be updated by clicking on them and selecting the upgrade you want. Generally speaking, you want all of them, but go with the lights to allow safer flying at night. Place them anywhere along the runway where it shows green as they apply themselves accordingly. There isn't an official click this switch to open button. So when you're ready to start accepting planes, you'll need to book them. Select the airline interest button at the top of the screen. Generally, when you're starting out, you'll fit four planes in the morning, three in the afternoon and two in the evening. So look through and see which ones are available to you and offering the most amount of money. Once you've booked the flights, you'll need to go and schedule them within the scheduling window in the bottom right hand side of the screen. Click and drag them down into the correct gate. Be sure to allow a small gap between two flights to allow for late passengers or delayed baggage. One space is generally enough. Any changes you make to the schedule will take 24 hours for it to be made, not necessarily the next day. So that's it, the real quick and nasty basic tutorial to get you started in the game. Remember to check out the playlist for more information on other topics. If you don't see the one you're after, let me know in the comment section and I'll look into adding it. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to press like if you're digging the Aussie accent. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. Hope you're having a lovely day. Till next time.